So um, a while back, I uh, took my Prusa Mark IVs, or one of them, I should say, and I tore it into a bunch of tiny little pieces. Um, this was at the direction of a Prusa manual to upgrade it to a Core 1. Uh, once the Core 1 upgrade was complete, as you see here, everything looks normal. It appears to be a Core 1, and for all intents and purposes, it functions like a Core 1, except for one small problem. Upon tensioning the belts, or even right before tensioning the belts, supposedly, according to the assembly manual, um, the entire carriage, the gantry, whatever that component is called in a Core XY, it's supposed to butt up against the uh, little idler blocks at the front of the machine. Uh, and on the right side, it, it did fine, but on the left side, it didn't. No matter how loose or how tight or any combination of the two that I made those belts, the left side never sat flush um, and there, there was a couple of millimeters of play. There was no uh, remedial steps for that listed in the manual. So that was red flag number one that maybe suggested something was out of square or out of whack. But the problems didn't start there. As you can see here, my rear lead screw is severely canted to the left. Uh, after uh, initial calibrations, that actually corrected a little bit, but as you can see from the photo, it's still a little bit uh, to the left. Uh, maybe even significantly, but, but not touching anymore as it was initially. So that gave me the idea to do a test print. And this test print uh, I found uh, at the recommendation of someone on one of the forums. I can't recall. I should have noted who it was. But anyway, it was just to take three cylinders, model them, uh, put them next to each lead screw, um, and uh, go the entire, the entire height, so the entire Z height, 270 millimeters, and then see uh, a couple things. In, in my case, it was going to be how far off they are, if any, from one another in length. Because, you know, in Prusa Slicer, they were 270 millimeters. So at the end of the day, they should all be 270. Or, or if, if nothing else, they should all be equal in height. They were not. Uh, as you can see from this photo, they are about, I think that the biggest deviation was about 3 millimeters. And that was the far left Z, uh, Z screw. Um, this is then prompts me to, okay, well, let's, uh, let's take a look at edit printing a full sheet. So I did a, just a standard one single layer full sheet. Um, and this is when it revealed <laughs> what you're seeing here, which is significant um, um, Z, I don't even know the term for this. It's, it's where the, the, the bed's moving up and down to compensate for the bed leveling. So the bed leveling makes the, the layer, the first layer look pretty great, minus that first corner. I don't know what that was about. But the rest of the sheet looked great. But as you can see, the bed is just going up and down and up and down quite a bit. Uh, I measured it at almost three millimeters. Um, uh, that seems pretty excessive to have to correct that much. Uh, my kit core one, this is the one we're referring to, is the only one with problems. I also have another core one that was purchased assembled. It has much less deviation. Uh, it, it suffers from none of the issues that this one does so I, I you know I feel very confident that I've done something wrong I just don't know where to backtrack in the steps to fix what I did wrong I've reached out to Prusa support I've yet to heard back I know they're really busy and it's only been a few days um, so we'll see what happens but if you've got anything for me that would be super helpful but until then I'm just gonna keep making awesome